guys, it's me, Wingo Star, your favorite Mexican free-tailed bat, reporting live from the South Congress Bat Bridge here in Austin, Texas during the South by Southwest Music Festival. Yeah, you know, I had no idea that anything was even going on this week. I was just hanging out underneath the bridge. I'm going to let that one sink in with you guys. I was just hanging out. A bad pun, or should I say, a bat pun. Ha! Anyway, yeah, I was just like hanging out, sleeping underneath the South Congress Bridge here with about 750,000 of my bat friends when I heard some commotion from the city up top. So I thought I'd pop out to see what was going on, you know? So like, what I found was kind of amazing to me. I don't know if you guys knew this, but somewhere around 72,000 humans have descended upon Austin this week for the South by Southwest Festival. I mean, us bats outnumber these guys by like, 675,000, so I don't think it as like a threat really. It's just crazy to me to think that so many people are in town. But yeah, so I was looking up the details of the festival in uh, the Austin Chronicle, you know, and I found a really, really condensed, like tiny font schedule of all the bands playing. And since I'm blind already, I sort of took offense that they'd kind of like further drive the point home with such small font. like. It's like, what, do they really not want bats to read this thing or what, man? It's like, why you gotta make sure we have nothing to do with your festival, you know what I'm saying? But you know, if I like squint really hard, man, I can make out some of the band names, but it's only the names that have all capital letters in them. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but like the all caps thing is really popular these days with band names. Like the ones that use all big letters, but use only the consonants and leave out the vowels. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so I thought I'd read some of them. There are too many to count, really, but I thought I would choose a sample and try to like figure out what words they are trying to convey. So let's see, the first one I saw was this one. Can we pull it up? Okay, so this one looks to me like maybe Jeep Nose Grills. Yeah, that's my guess for this one. Let's see what it, let's see what it really is. Okay, okay, Japanese Girls. Okay, I was like sort of way off on that one. How about this one? Let's pull up another one. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go with men like my nose, I think. Another nose-based thing going on, I think. Men like my nose. Was I right? Let's see. No, no, okay, it's Milkman. Okay, I don't see it really, but hey, I can't see anything, am I right? Okay, next one. Okay, I mean, I mean, it's pretty clear to me that this one is like a medical abbreviation. So I'm gonna say, Grim melanoma, you know? Yeah, like a like treatable but still alarming. So let's see what we have here. Okay, gremlin. Oh, I, I've heard of gremlins. They're like a fellow scary creature, but not real. They're like made in Hollywood studios for movies, you know? But you know, respect, they're ugly like me and I like that. But uh, okay, let's do a couple more. What's this one? Okay, okay, tough one here. I'm gonna say, I don't know, man, it's like, Milk ruins ice, maybe? I really hope it's not that because that is kind of like a dumb band name, you know? So let's see, let's see. Okay, macaroni. Okay, I think that's like a cheap, easily prepared microwave meal that lazy human people make or something. I don't know. Let's do one more, okay? Okay, we pull it up here. There we go. Uh, whoa, this is like a big one. Let me see here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna say fling the yarn male lesbian fling the yarn male lesbian yeah that's pretty that's pretty poetic actually i might be right about this one let's see oh <laughs> not so much not so much huh it's actually filthy animals uh i wonder if this band is named after the 72,000 filthy animals that come into austin texas to watch south by southwest seriously i can smell these people like a mile away man they smell like vapor pens and pbr they smell like they smell like NPR studios and free iPhone cases, you know? They smell like they smell like badge lanyards and hashtags and stuff, you know? They smell these guys smell like RSVPs, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me guys. I just thought I'd like pop out here and give my take on this whole crazy time here in Austin, you know? And like maybe if you guys are lucky, I will fly around later and drop some some like guano sauce on your free tacos or something. Spice those puppies up a bit, you know? Yeah, okay, thanks guys, see you later. Happy South by Southwest.